hello all let's see the very easy mnemonic for floral formulas so let me tell you how easy it is seriously usually many of the people will get confused with this floral formulas when it comes to the examination so let's crack these floral formulas so now we are going to write the three families in the order that is given in ncrt So you have this Fabaceae, Solanaceae, and Liliaceae. So these are the three families. Fabaceae is meant for pulses. peas groundnuts so the legume family we also call it as leguminaceae solanaceae solanaceae is none other than the potato family you have the major food products potato tomato capsicum chili and we have the fumigatory tobacco brinjal all these things will comes under solanaceae liliaceae we have the allium sapa onion and we have the garlic aloe vera asparagus so all these things so let's uh, go with the topic so how to write the formula to go with the black so just remember the per, usually uh, i'll write the entire thing and the mnemonic first we have to write the symmetry okay so to write the symmetry what is the mnemonic for this this remember this is first f for first s for second l for last first second last so first uh, ranker should need the cent of marks and cent percentage marks so like that you can remember this symbol for zygomorphic so which is only one plane passing through the flower can cut the flower into two equal parts so this you can remember and solanaceae which is the second ranker he need some plus marks to get the second and liliaceae so liliaceae is like a bad student of the class last l for last last student so bad uh, bad student so or just take it as back benchers instead of bad back benchers they do need some plus marks to pass okay so this is the mnemonic for writing the symmetry luckily all uh, by bis- all flowers are bisexual you can remember like in both the genders you can find the first second and last students okay next it is very uh, next thing is we have to write the calyx corolla and rhesium gynecium calyx corolla and rhesium gynecium usually the people in the last benches you just remember lb last bench students will have more unity so that's why calyx and corolla got united here to form perianth they have more unity that's how you can remember and we have the same antrician gynecium one thing you you have very similar here all the ovaries are superior ovaries are hypogynous all the ovaries are superior okay so let's go with this thing and one more thing f for first one uh, solanaceae second two and uh, gynecium it's uh, so liliaceae last three so one two three you have to finish like this first second third you can remember this and now we'll see to remember the we'll go with last so from last to first just remember three okay so you have the perianth so which you have the tepals so we have 3 plus 3 arrangement and this 3 plus 3 arrangement is fused okay so that's why we have to put a bracket and we have again 3 plus 3 stamens okay and this we have an adhesion so fusion andrisium even andrisium also fused with perianth in stepals so epitepalous or epiphyllous condition we call it as 
and excuse me for this here you don't have to have this thing here 3 plus 3 you don't have a bracket here and uh, this is a uh, tricarpillary syncarpus trilocular ovary tricarpillary syncarpus trilocular ovary that's it you can remember this like this and remember this perianth uh, these wall is fused and gynaecium is fused and next we'll come to the next thing you have to remember here five even s will looks like five if you draw like this it will looks like five like that you can remember this and uh, just remember five five and five here this five calyx are fused and five corolla are fused andrisium is epipetalous is being fused with the petals and uh, gynaecium is fused this is bicarpillary syncarpus bilocular ovary which is superior uh, and hypogynous you can remember like this just remember this five and next it is uh, again uh, he is the first place we already got decided he is the first so fabesi is the first just remember 5 plus 5 is 10 so then he need more marks 10 marks 10 out of 10 okay just write it like uh, calyx is 5 calyx is 5 and come to the corolla 1 plus 2 plus 2 this is standard petal and this is wing petals and this is keel. So, and remember standard is posterior, keel is anterior. And this five, uh, these uh, calyx are also fused and this keel is fused. Calyx is fused as well as keel is fused. And andrisium you have the 9 plus 1 arrangement, diadolphus and this 9 got fused. So it's very easy to remember this 9 got fused. So, how to describe this thing is the inflorescence, the only family which inflorescence is, this inflorescence is racemose. And remaining two inflorescence is cymose. And one more very important thing is, all these three will be having alternate phyllotaxy. All the three is alternate phyllotaxy. And one more thing is, all the three are uh, superior ovary or hypogynous ovary hypogynous uh, flower, superior ovary. And one more thing, all the calyx will be having, so even perianth, these two calyx also will be having volvate aestivation. And this corolla will be having uh, vexillary aestivation. And this is volvate again. Obviously, this is perianth, this is volvate. And remaining two are cymos. These are the common things. And one more thing is Fabaceae is non-albuminous seeds. It's no endosperm. The Solanaceae and Liliaceae are albuminous seeds having endosperm. And you have to describe the flower for Fabaceae as zygomorphic, bisexual, five petals, five, sorry, five sepals, gamosepalous, which is fused. And, uh, and you have the five calyx, five corolla, Five corolla with one standard petal, two wing petals, and two petals fused to form keel. And diadolphus condition with 10 stamens, nine are fused to form one, and one is free. So the gynaecium is unilocular, superior ovary, hypogynous. And coming to the solanaceae, cymose inflorescence, actinomorphic, bisexual. Five sepals, which is gamosepalous. Five petals, which is gamopetalous. Andrisium is five, which is fused with petals, which is epipetalous condition. And we have the bicarpal syncarpus bilocular ovary. With superior, uh, superior ovary or hypogynous flower. And Liliaceae, cymose inflorescence, bractate, actinomorphic, bisexual. So calyx and corolla is fused to form perianth, 
which is three plus three arrangement. Uh, this perianth is fused, and we have the andrisium, which is fused with the perianth, which is epiphyllus or epitapalus. Gynesium, tricarpillary, syncarpus, trilocular, and superior ovary or uh, hypogynous. So this is the way. And according to NCRT, we have brassicaceae also. How to remember that? So coming to the floral formula for brassicaceae. You have to remember, this is the second one, second set we have to remember. Remember the number two. First, we'll start with the cemetery. This is also actinomorphic. Bisexual. Luckily, all the flowers are bisexual because most of the flowers are bisexual. And we have the calyx, corolla, andrisium, canisium. Here also, you have the superior ovary or hypogynous. And this is the second one. Just remember to two. The two carpels are fused, syncarpus. You have the two plus two. Two plus two is four. So four plus two. So that's it. This is the floral formula for brassicaceae because we have to remember the brassicaceae, which is NCRT. I hope this trick will be helpful to you. At the same time, I'll tell you one more way, uh, one more interesting thing regarding the fruits. Mnemonic regarding the fruits. If it is a simple fruit, aggregate fruit, inflorescence. Inflorescence is such as a pig. The fruit which come from the entire flower. Mulberry. Pineapple. Here, uh, custard apple. Simple fruit, we have the tomato. Brinjal. Banana. So usually, simple fruit formed from syncarpus ovary. Okay, aggregate is fruit formed from apocarpus ovary. You have the fruitlets. So S for S, A for A. You can remember like that. Syncarpus simple, apocarpus aggregate. So these are the mnemonics. I hope uh, it will be more helpful for you during the exam. Thank you.